A man remains in ICU tonight after a long fall while he was out hiking. His family is speaking to the news media now to highlight some of the hidden perils out in nature. News specialist Andrew Adams reports from Murray. Jay Hutchinson remains here at Intermountain Medical Center. He has some very serious injuries. Still, his family is optimistic about his recovery, but they're warning others. They say his story points out that things in nature aren't always as safe as they appear to be. We're the lucky ones that got to keep our son here. This is 20-year-old Jay Hutchinson after a horrifying ordeal in Bell Canyon. He was hiking with girlfriend Nicole Johnson around the falls and saw that perfect view everyone wants in a photograph. He went on a rock that did not seem slippery, but ended up it was, and he fell. First, a five-foot drop to a ledge, then 30 feet, face down into the knee-deep water below. Johnson rushed to the bottom to pull his head up. He wouldn't have survived if, uh, if, that, if she weren't there with him. She, she saved his life. Hutchinson is a student at the U who loves his work. He's a referee at soccer and basketball games. But with broken ribs, pelvic bones, a broken elbow and jaw, maybe a wrist, it's all on hold for now. And his family says it's because of something anyone might do. Hopefully this will make Jay stronger of a person. There's rocks, there's steep uh, cliffs. Rescuers say this is the third fall in the same place in the past two months. Straight over the end here. Josh, wrap around up here. It's also one of several recent, highly publicized mishaps. Monday night, a 30-foot fall in Little Cottonwood Canyon. Wednesday, a deadly tumble at Bridalville Falls in Provo Canyon. Collectively, those cases are pressing first responders to urge caution, charting out routes ahead of time and watching every step along the way. Three, two, one, let's go. Know what your limitations are. Don't get yourself into a situation that's beyond your skill set. As for Hutchinson, it's a long road to recovery. His family says 8 to 12 months is what they're being told by doctors. Still, they say they'll take it, considering what happened. Andrew Adams, KSL 5 News. All right, thank you, Andrew. We're